All right, in this video, I was going to show you how to make a cluster between my R610 and my temporary server, and then migrate the uh, containers and virtual machines over to that temporary server. But because I've played around with it and, and tested with it so much, I think the software pertaining to the cluster portion of Proxmox on the R610, it's become corrupted. And, and I'm not able to migrate those machines over. So instead, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some backups of your containers and virtual machines, how to restore from those backups, and use a little workaround with those backups to get our containers moved from the R610 over to the temporary server. Next on Low Res DIY. Okay, so we are looking at the web GUI for the Proxmox uh, system that's on the R610. And you can see right down here at the bottom, it says PE, PVE1. Well, that's from a cluster I created earlier that I was testing and playing around with. And then when I went to delete it, it refused to delete because I don't know, maybe I, I had created multiple clusters and deleted multiple ones. And just somewhere in there, it, it, something funny happened. So what I want to do is take all of these virtual machines containers and put them over here on the temp low res temp machine, which you can see, I've already moved some of them over. So I, I know it's going to work. Uh, and the way I did that was over here on the R610, I had created a backup of all of them that runs uh, every Saturday night at midnight. It'll back, back up all the virtual machines and containers. And I stored it on a, uh, a FreeNAS share called Tank. So let's jump over to Lowres Temp. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is, is create that link between Lores Temp and the free NAS share. And the way we're gonna do that, you're, we're gonna go to Data Center, Storage, and we're going to add a location. And I'm gonna use the CIFS, and let's give it a name, and I'm gonna call it Tank, just keeping it the same so I know what it is. It wants the server's IP address, which for my free NAS server, it is 30. And then it, it's going to require your username, and your password for that share. And then once you get those fed in, you can click on the, the share here, you can click on the little arrow, and it will show you all the shares that you have available to you. So I'm gonna click on tank, and I'm going to make sure in the content, it's only, right now it's set up for only disk image, but I want a VZ dump backup files also. So we're gonna choose that also, and we're gonna click add. Give it a few minutes and it's, going to pop up over here in your hard drives and there it is now tanks available to us to use and next we need to set up some backups for it because what we're going to do is we're going to set the backups on the low res temp machine to the same location as the r610 machine and that'll give us access on the temp machine to all the backups that were created from the r610 so Let's go ahead and add a backup. We want to use all nodes. If, if there was a cluster, it would do it for all nodes, but we don't have a cluster. I want to store it on tank. Instead of Saturday night, I'm going to put it on uh, Sunday. You can choose one every day of the week if you want, but I'm going to choose Sunday. Oops, I unchecked it. So we're going to choose Sunday. Sunday at midnight so fine by me. And uh, we want to include VMs for it. If you want to send an email, to uh, yourself, I would suggest that, but instead of sending an email uh, every time it does a backup, only on fail. That way you're not inundated with an email, always getting emails every week about the backup. And then we are going to choose the check mark this and we're gonna choose all of them. If we had virtual machines down here, they would be, be chosen also. Then we're gonna click create. So now every Sunday night at midnight, it's gonna create a backup of all your virtual machines. And with that, let's go ahead and create the next uh, container I need to move is the Plex container. It's 106. And the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna go back to the temp machine 
we're going to create a container. The important part, make sure it says 106. You don't have to give it a name. It doesn't have to be plexing. You just throw some gibberish in there if you want. Give it a password. Click next. It's going to ask you for an operating system. Ubuntu 20.10 is the only one that I have uh, downloaded for this machine so far. And then click next and everything else we can just bypass it because it doesn't matter. Once we re restore it from a backup, it's going to change all that information anyway. So click finish and, and let it create the container for you. All right. Once it's done creating that container, you can click on the container and your backups right here. Bam. There's all the backups that were originally created from the R610. So I want to go to the newest one, which is down here at the bottom, 626 uh, this past Sunday. And I want to choose it and then I want to click on restore. And what it'll do is it will restore uh, this new container to look exactly like the container that was backed up on the R610. So let's just go ahead and click restore. And yes, we want to restore it and give it a few minutes to run through the process. All right, it has completed. Now that it's done, uh, we'll give it a few minutes and it'll actually change the name to Plex because that's the backup, backup we used. Let's go over to our R610 and we're gonna turn Plex off. Shut down. Now that it's shut down, let's jump back over to our temp machine and start up our new uh, instant instance of Plex, or our new container with Plex on it. All right, it's up, it's running. Let's see if we have access to it. Look at that, there it is, it's up and running. So not only did it restore the machine settings, the container settings, it also changed all the resources to be exactly what they were on the R610, provided, you know, hopefully you have all the same amount of resources on your new machine as the old machine. And it also went into the network and it gave it the exact same IP address. So now you know you can how to set up your backups on a remote machine if you want uh, and, and restore your containers or virtual machines on any other machine with this little little trick or this little workaround. One of the things that's pretty nice about this backup option is that, you know, in our Plex uh, video, when we set it up, uh, link will be, I think it's over here, uh, if you wanna check that out. We also set it up to have remote access to our FreeNAS server where all our movies are. And if we nano into our config file, it brought everything with it. So it already has the link or the mount point from our Proxmox uh, machine over to our uh, FreeNAS server. And with that, that was the last container I needed to move over. So the only thing left for me is one virtual machine. So let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and create a virtual machine. 202, a little bit gibberish. Next, Ubuntu, next, next. And just click right on through all this stuff. Give it a few seconds to create the machine for us. And it's done. So let's go to the backups for it. And there's the backup for it. And let's restore. All right, it looks like it's done. So let's go ahead and shut this guy down. Hop back over and start it up. Okay, it looks like it's finally settled down, so let's try that again. And there it is. And with that, we got her did. So why did I go through all the trouble of moving all my virtual machines and containers from the R610 over to a temporary server? Well, for one, I'm going to throw a hard drive into this guy and replace the uh, optical drive in the R610 with a hard drive. And I've got a 
couple sticks of RAM here that I want to throw in there also. So if uh, that's interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if this video helped you out, hit that like, like button. And until next time, thanks for watching.